welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Tonic Craft Kit and this is kit number 42. And I just got this the other day. It was actually released on Friday. So hopefully they're still available if you're interested in getting one. But I'm excited to show you what you get inside this kit. And then I made a couple projects to show you as well at the end. So you open it up and you have a few little goodie bags. So the kit comes in a little craft envelope like this. You open up. Now I put my dies on the magnetic sheets. The, you do not get the magnetic sheets. They come in like a firm plastic thing, but I like to transfer them to the sheets. So we have our set of dies, which I'm gonna show you a bit more in depth shortly, but you get a set of dies, exclusive dies, and a exclusive stamp set. This one is all spring themed. So I'll be showing you those a bit more. You get a little binder that these fit into. So if you get a few kits, you can put them in the binder and keep them on your shelf, which is pretty cool. This kit also came with an A2 watercolor card pack. And then in here we have our papers. Pull it out and move the box out of the way. So you have some regular cardstock. Here's another. Here's our pink. So you have some of the regular cardstocks. These are full sheets, obviously, but I had used them to make my projects. Then there's this one. Can you see the pattern on that? It's beautiful, sort of gold with that floral pattern. This one is just a nice shiny reflective um, in the pink family, pink purple. This one has a, yeah, it's this side. It's a very cool texture. Tonic has so many great specialty papers that are really fun to use. Here's sort of a gold, sort of that same sort of mirrored gold. And then this one is just, um, like a shimmer gold. So you can see they're both gold, <laughs> but this one is a lot more subtle, whereas this is nice and bright. So it depends what you're doing. So you get some great papers and then the embellishments. You know, if you're a fan of Nouveau, this is when it gets exciting. We have some sequins in silver and light gold, full bottles. This one had, um, I think it's carnation, carnation pink crystal drops. Again, a full bottle. And then the embellishment mousse, um, it's peony pink. So these typically come a lot bigger. So I love this, that you just get a nice sampling that you can use up and you're not, you don't have that huge thing. So I love these little mini containers. That'd be great if they were sold individually. Um, we also got a little tape runner. This is an embellishment tool and it's a little sticky end. And so it's for picking up your embellishments or small pieces of paper. So that's great to use for many things. And then you get one aqua flow out of a set of three. So I got just peachy, but there's two other colors you could have got in the kit. So you can see some really great embellishments as well that come in this kit. So I'm gonna go back to talking a little bit about the dies. There's a few different ones here. Now, when I get a new die set like this, oh, also typically in the kit, you get um, an instruction sheet and a couple other sheets to show you what you can make and what's actually in the kit. Um, but when I get a new die set, and if, you know, I'm not 100% sure what all the dies are, I like to cut them all. So this die here, 
you will see it has a cutting line on this side, but not on this side. And so I made this card. And so you see it will cut out the edge of it, but it's still attached to the paper. So that is what that die does. So that's pretty cool. And then I used this butterfly die here. Ah, can't pick it up. There we go. This butterfly die I cut out of that purple mirrored paper and just added a couple butterflies and a stamp to the bottom. So that is that die. So then we have these flower dies. And so this one here, um, you can cut out all the pieces individually and then you can layer them up like that. Or if you were to cut it like this, then the middle would have a cutout piece if you put this, if you cut them together, then that, well, you have to get it to match properly. Then that middle would cut out and you would have like, a piece that would be cut around there. These actually go a specific way. I'm always keep moving them trying to find out where exactly they fit, but it's like a puzzle. Get your see it, I'll get it, I'll get it really. There. Now I have to was this. There we go. So that is that flower. Here we have this flower. And this is this flower. And that's if you cut them out individually. But again, if you layer them, then you'd have like outlines of flowers as well. So there's different ways you can use them. This is spring. And again, if you cut them separately, you have the backdrop and then the word spring just sits right on there. And then this here is a banner. So here's a card I made and I used the banner there. And this one I just cut out a couple pieces of that great paper I put on a large flower. And then I used the Nouveau dots as dots along there. But I also took the, the crystal dots and just um, put it around the banner just to give it a little dimension. So then these dies are um, again layered. You get three pieces. So what it cuts, I'm going to lay out our three pieces. Here, I'll put it on the table. So we have three pieces. Now you'll see that this one only has interior cuts. It doesn't have an outline cut. So what that one does, I think this one's it. Nope. This one, sorry. Oh, I was right the first time. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so this one will cut your base. This one cuts, oh, it's because it's that way. That's why I got confused. Okay, this one cuts a nice layer to sit on top. And then when you put these two together, then it will cut this out like this to layer on top. Now, if you don't put it together and just use this die, it will cut like this. So if you want to cut out of a card front the pattern as part of your design, or you can layer them together and cut it out as a piece. So this sets great because you can layer up. You don't need the middle piece if you just wanted to put this piece on that piece. There's many different ways that you can use um, these dies by layering them all up. And then they can form a bit of a wreath or something. So that is that set. And again, we'll just put them back. And then we have a second one that's similar, but a bit different pattern, and that is this set. And we have the big, then the next layer, and then when you put these together, it sits right on top for another layer. Or you can cut it without 
and just have it on your card front like that. Then lastly, we had that little butterfly die I showed you. Fix my dies up after. So this is a really cute butterfly die. Now you can cut it out and again, you can, it's in a nice pattern. You can just um, do it on a card if you want butterflies popping out or you cut out the butterflies. I have them sort of just on this little thing and I love them out of the gold. Look how cute those little, oh, and I did the pink as well there, but I'm loving those gold butterflies. I think out of that paper, they're really cute. And I added some gold ones on this card. Here I have the two flowers and just a few gold butterflies. So what I did was I used my Aquaflow brush and I put a bunch of it on my background and then squirted it with water and dried it just to get that sort of watercolor texture there. I used the embellishment mousse across my card um, to make that line. And then I put a bunch of these word stamps. There's like, if friends were flowers, I would pick you. The first blooms of spring always make my heart sing. Stuff like that. These cute little spring things. And I just stamped them across. They weren't all obviously seen, but it just gave a nice sort of texture. And then I just painted in the stems. And I used the crystal drops again around the card to give that little um, pink sort of, it sort of borders the card when you do that. And then the cute little gold butterflies. So that is kit 42 from Tonic. I'll lay out the cards. So you can see what I did. Um, you get the exclusive dies, the stamps, so many great embellishments. They come out with kits monthly. So you can buy one kit or you su can subscribe. If you subscribe, it's a little less per kit. And I think you get a really great variety of embellishments. And if you're looking to get some happy mail each month, I'd um, highly recommend checking out these kits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.